I'm Eva Yu from Secret Team, and here's I'm Li Jianan. Yes. So uh, we're going to share like our experience in the past three weeks. This is our day twenty three, and we had like twenty two days of twenty three days cycling uh, in China. So so we're going to share those experience with you guys. My birthday was on um, June fourth, and uh, we cycled uh, from Wuxi to Changzhou, and um, that day we had a really nice bir birthday dinner with a uh, cheesecake. We didn't have candles, so we had to stick that um, French fry and like lit the light with a uh, ketchup. But anyways, I loved it, and there was a really nice live bar in. Changzhou, um, so so you guys should really check out the chocolate bar in Changzhou. It's a, there's a really good bars around. So so that was my be uh, best day. I thought um, like giving myself this cycling trip is my best birthday present ever. Well, I think my best day would be that day we rest in Nanjing in our friends. Oscar's house. Mm. Yeah, because after that day, I predicted that that house would be the best living environment for a very long time our trip. And so long, yeah, it is. And that day, we like pure rest for the whole day and we ate Indian food. Wow, really good. And we had a whole house for ourselves so one day and I slept a lot. Yeah, that's my best day. Oscar, thank you so much. We went on a really muddy road and I fell off from the bike into the mud. And it was like, I mean, my sneakers were all soaked with the mud. And then that's not it. It's like roads in Honan is just terrible. Just like terrible. It's terribly bumpy. And so people please try to avoid Honan province or or try to be really prepared with a good bike. Yeah, my worst day cause the rainy day. We cycled like less than 60 kilometers that day. But at the end, it feels like we cycled for 100 kilometers. That's so tired. And even we have a raincoat, the rain fell on our raincoat and the raincoat just touched our skin. It feels like really cold and feels lonely like on the road. And of course there's flat tire. There still is Eva's Fell down. So Honan and rainy day is the worst match. Remember, people. My best food was um uh, kaoyu that we had in um Huainan. Oh, yeah, Huainan Shi. Mm. It was like it was fresh fish. What was that fish in Chinese? Wu I think it's. Oh my god! It was just so. Fresh and they cooked it like for a long time, like more than thirty minutes. Wow! And then we we had this dinner so late, like ten p.m. because we arrived in the hotel nine p.m. that day, cycling like eighty kilometers, and that was the day I had a sunstroke, um, like nearly a sunstroke. So we arrived in the hotel at nine p.m. and then we had this kaoyu, and it was just amazing. Mm, I would give the credit to our friend Chris. That night, Chris made the dinner with the farmy, and it was all vegetable. But wow, <laughs> really tasty! Wow, wow. yeah, Chris is definitely a really good cook. I mean, he prepared the dinner, breakfast. Wow, he and um tea, homemade coffee. Yeah, wow, Chris. Wow. We love you. Nanyang Hotel. Because the elevator was long, so it was like easy to like put in the bikes. 
yeah, interior was really nice too, and it was like quite wide. That that hotel with no elevator, and I have to carry two bikes for three floors. That was that was terrible yeah, for so, you. <laughs> yeah, so my best hotel was that one in Fuyang Shi. Yeah, I like Fuyang Shi ah, very much. That swan towel. <sighs> they folded the towel in a like a swan, and it was so adorable. Oh, and they had a really good breakfast. Oh, breakfast is a really important factor. I just realized. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Chuvadian's breakfast was also very and nice. And that service there was like the best I we've ever met. I think. Yeah, they were kindly, friendly, and yeah, very nice. 茉莉花开酒店，谢谢你们。茉莉花开，嗯，酒店，酒店。好的。<laughs> I would have to say Nanjing, yeah, because of the great people we met there, and um, I mean, I've been to Nanjing for the like three third time, and I still find it like so much full of like wonders, like even the touristic places and people I get to meet there, and then. Uh, even the places I've been to, when I go there, um, second time, I still feel that, you know, beauty, and so, and I feel like there's so much to explore because of so many diverse people I get to see there. Um, so yeah, I would say Nanjing is my best city. Hmm, my best city, I would say Fuyang Shi, because at first, hmm. For a cycler, Fuyang has the flattest route, and that was the only two days that our average oh. speed was over twenty kilometers per hour. Ah, oh, for that wow. reason, wow, that was the best for the cycler. And Fuyang, I would say the per the the person, the people there, they were. Like they were nice, like I said. So yeah, Fuyang. I love the road. I love the people, and I love the hotel. Mm. Mm. And um, two things more. Uh, the electric Alipay electric bike was a really brand mm. new experience. That was really good. And then Man Coffee uh that day was also very good, even though it's a franchise. I mean, we were looking for Starbucks, but there was no Starbucks. But uh, it was a good substitute. Uh, Yangtze, because of the really bad dusty road, it was just like, yeah, it was dusty. But um, I realized one thing. I mean, um, that day I kind of searched about Henan, and I realized it's a agricultural city. And like, um, when I looked down from the rooftop, I saw like behind all the houses there were like really huge farmland behind. And it was actually a beautiful, scenic kind of spot. Like if you see from the top, and I could understand kind of oh why it's kind of like underdeveloped. I would say Zhu Ma Dian was the more disappointed city. Like for me, when we been to Zhu Ma Dian, wow, the city, the road, the street of Zhu Ma Dian was just like any other small towns, and. The house they were old, the and there were so many electric bikes. The traffic was not very good. Yeah, I would say that Zhu Ma Dian was quite disappointed. I think. But, but the hotel or or yeah, the movie the we watched uh was quite good. Uh, we watched it was Jurassic Park there. Um, so it's fifteen minutes. So uh, this was our episode one, and we'll come back on our second one. So, bye bye, people.